Hello everyone, Callian Productions here with a rather unexpected video. This idea for a 10 words or less actually has been in my mind for the past few months, and thought, why not put that to video form? And well, here we are. Originally this was going to be a much shorter video with the rather standard classes like the K4, D1, etc. But upon doing some research, I found out there were a lot more classes than I initially thought. And believe me, there are a handful of forgotten or straight up weird classes to talk about. So let's not waste any more time and hop right into it. This is every Pennsylvania Railroad Steam Locomotive reviewed in 10 words or less. America's first steam locomotive. A literal boiler on wheels. A charming old antique. Also, Altoona built a replica, so... Dinky and adorable at the same time. Standard example of 19th century 10-wheelers. Small tender to have there, Mr. Forney. Man, early 440s looked a bit funky in my opinion. Now including closer driver wheels and the stereotypical funnel. Locomotive standards were hella quirky back then. Another standard design. Amongst every other 19th century railroad- Man, the Pensy loved dinky tank engines. Admittedly, it's adorable. I... What? <laughs> what the fu- <laughs> Is it me? Or does that not look stable? Little Buttercup? Except pigtail flavored. Rio Grande have an ass. Pennsylvania Narrow Gauge. Never believed such thing existed. Perfect for fighting tough corners. Or switching coaches. Now with Saddle Tank, because a tender isn't enough. Imagine what modeling companies thought of when seeing this. Decide to scrap that tender out of shame, huh? Very stubby, if you ask me. The definitive 040 switcher. Should I question the rear light placement? The low rider. Wait, I already made that joke. Cab's taller, but damn, he really slouching. If this is the tank engine, where's the bunker? Damned one of these is still around. And running, losing the tender and gaining a thin tank. Unusual. Perfect for low clearances at a good price. The pigtail's ideal shifters since 1902. Basically a B6 with an extended A5 boiler. Southern Pacific shop switcher have an ass. I'm pretty sure this shifter has an identity crisis. The beefy looking but forgotten shifters of the Penzi. Good switchers. But the Penzi preferred 060s. Damn, that bitch is big. I feel like that cab is overhanging the body. Stereotypical American locomotive goes here. Now for more Penzi style aesthetic. Need I say more? Ah, the Penzi had camelbacks. Kinda neat, if you ask me. But I refuse to believe one of these broke a speed record. Small boiler Atlantic Appreciation Club, anyone? The definitive Atlantic design for fast commuter service. Uh, what? Sous puissance et faiblesse tout simplement. Also, I'm not friend. Who even remembers that the Penzi had moguls? Basic 10 wheel design, albeit small bull. What the actual fu- Pretty standard design for the time. Same situation, but a different tender. The chunkiest 10 wheelers you will find in America. Wait, this looks familiar. An army of consolidations running since 1899. Now built with dummy thick boilers. Uh... Powerful hippos with giant honkers. I mean, some serious honglo. Hongle. I mean, some serious honglo. Hong. Honglogog. I can't read this. For a non pensy design to be the most successful. When did the Penzi get two six twos? They look bland. A humble start for the Pacifics. The official locomotive for the state of Pennsylvania. Poppet valves and very Aussie looking. A K4 beefed up with poppet valves. Again! Raymond Lilly cranking out a banger streamliner is really something. A bit of a downgrade, but still epic nonetheless. No wonder why they call those elephant ears. Really got that low poly drip on. Just a thicker K4, but with more adhesion. Long Pacific with small tender, 
and completely generic. Is this the last of the basic designs? The stepping stone for the K4s, and a short-lived one. The neglected freight locomotives of the Pennsylvania. The USRA designs really don't fit the Pensy style, really. The true successful Pensy designed locomotive. Change my mind. Powerful and bigger, but slower than the I-1s. Streamline variant good, conventional variant e Chad locomotive, but maintenance hoggers and slightly more powerful. When they focus on aesthetics more than performance. Failure in real life, successful in model form. The prototypes are better than the production T1s. Enough said. The shifters, but jacked up with steroids. Yeah, stick to your freight trains, Mr. Mallet. We're cargo moving people. Wait, what the fu- The forgotten articulated, and again, very generic. Hello everyone, I do hope you enjoyed this video today. It was actually a bit of a fun one writing, and not to mention seeing all the different kinds of classes the Pennsylvania Railroad offered. And I just want to clarify this. This doesn't mean I'll be doing every blank steam locomotive review in 10 words or less. You're just asking a bit too much for me. I just wanted to do the Pensy one just for fun, and just so I could at least try and get into the swing of making these once again. Nonetheless, I do hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, folks.